What does it mean to be sustainable? What does it mean to have a sustainable business? What does it mean to be a part of the circular economy? Slowly, I'm trying to adjust to the shift in my career. But it's afforded me a lot of really cool things to be able to do. And one of those is to be able to go, to go visit other lawn care companies across the country. Our trip to Precision Landscape Management was to determine exactly that. What does that mean in a landscape company? What does that mean in a lawn care company? How can we all be more sustainable? How can we participate in the circular economy? Are you concerned about it filling in? Winter kill? I talk about how forward thinking Nate is with his business and his organization. One of the things he said to me multiple times was how can we be more sustainable how can we source products that are more sustainable and when we looked at his program one of the big things we had to hone in on was how do we make the program more efficient so while i'm talking to nate and he's telling me things like this i knew immediately we would be a good fit for one another because in our effort to be more sustainable with our lawn care programs, you know, we've heard John Perry talk about it forever, you know, of being more efficient with what we do, focusing on the total plant, building a highly functioning soil will all lead to more sustainable turf management practices. This is a super easy fix. Okay. Syncor, S-E-N-C-O-R. And you can Google generic Syncor and you'll see that active ingredient, Metribuzin. Do you mow this one? Just an application okay. Uh -huh. Because when you're talking about sustainability and the circular economy, you know, we look at it from the perspective of fertilizer. Everything is manufactured to be a consumable. 
Meaning you manufacture the fertilizer, you apply it, you get your end result, you go get more newly manufactured fertilizer, you apply it, you sustain the growth. From a fertilizer manufacturer perspective and what we wanted to do with Carbon Earth Company was have a fertilizer model that was more circular, that was more sustainable. So to paint a little bit of a picture of what it looks like us to participate in the circular economy and what it looks like to us to be sustainable. I think it's best to talk about our utilization of biochar. One of the reasons we wanted to use biochar as our slow release agent is the fact that it is a sustainably produced product. Biochar comes from the renewable energy sector where they take waste wood, put it through a pyrolysis process, it is then converted into either a usable syngas, some people make biofuels, liquid fuels, and the byproduct of that pyrolysis process is a porous with high surface area carbon. We use that carbon as our slow release agent. That is one part of the puzzle of why we chose to use biochar. Now, when we look at the other inputs we chose, where we sourced our ammonium sulfate, where we sourced our ferrous sulfate, where we even sourced our other nitrogen sources, being sustainable was a big part of why we chose the vendors we chose. Uh, part of it was a waste stream from steel manufacturing. Um, the other part of it was a waste stream from the mining industry. Being able to take all of those waste streams and build that into our product was our effort to be sustainable, our effort to be circular. I love that. And I can tell where you hit it with your growth regulator because the distance between the leaves are so so short. Yeah. Like, you know, oh, you've got yeah. leaf growth on leaf growth on yeah. leaf growth. Usually that's spread out. Okay. So there's your torpedo grass. That's perfect. I think the most unique thing about this trip was to see the level of professionalism, the level of organization, and the level of effort that Nate uh, was putting into the business. I've been around a lot of businesses for a long time, but what he's doing is absolutely exceptional and to be able to go spend time with them and see how they're pioneering the way in their market is truly exceptional and exciting. So as I do a little bit of traveling here over the next couple of months, I'm gonna highlight some of these trips I take and some of these people I meet and, uh, and show a little bit about what the future of our industry looks like and get to meet and know these guys and watch and see how they've developed so strongly year over year it gives me great hope and makes me really excited for what's to come